Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Tuesday, the 9th of March. Starting off with Argo Blockchain, which has managed to get away its placing at £2 and stayed above that level uh, for the whole of the today. The low was uh, £2.10 and uh, sort of a normal rule, uh, which is that uh, uh, one, we're seeing a lot of stocks which are uh, staying above their placing price, and two, a stock which does that is clearly uh, pretty bullish. Uh, current technical position here is that we're in a line of resistance there from the beginning of the month around the £2.60 level. So if you're looking for a momentum trigger, be waiting for an end of day close above that. Uh, ideally, also today, we remain above the 20 day moving average of £2.35. That would be a real result, I think. And uh, in terms of the stop loss, we've got a support line there from uh, the beginning of the year around £2.10, hence the bounce off that level today. So let's see uh, whether it's £2.10, £2.35 or £2.60, which are in play. And uh, the big picture target over the next one to two months up towards £4.50 as a target, perhaps as soon as uh, the end of April, if we are really lucky, I suppose, with uh, Bitcoin, etc. Uh, on to Afritin, which has uh, got a solid looking chart and uh, looks as though after the consolidation that we've had over about uh, was it three or four weeks, uh, the shares are finally ready to break out. The close opened at the low of the day and have rallied uh, strongly since. End of day close above the uh, February peak five and a quarter pence should be enough to deliver the start of a new leg to the upside and we've been looking for uh, the top of a rather wide rising trend channel from uh, September 2018 as as the target over the next uh, couple of months uh, again promising us a target there as high as seven and three quarter pence maybe by uh, the end of uh, April or going into May. A uh, stock which uh, seemed to uh, make out being enjoy going down every day for a week or more, I think it was. Uh, um, cellular goods, but it uh, looks as though the uh, the bloodletting has finally stopped, or at least it's uh, temporarily stopped, as uh, uh, judging by the five-minute chart. Here we've got a rising trend channel that you can potentially draw from um, last, uh, well, the end of last week. Uh, if we hold uh, the support line there, the lower parallel around uh, 9.6 pence, 9.5 pence, probably to be safe, uh, then we could still be up for a potential move towards, uh, I suppose, resistance on the way down, which was around 13.5 pence. That's probably, in the near term, the, uh, the most uh, achievable target, let's say, uh, for the shares. It would be good to see an end-of-day close, though, through 10.7 pence, either today or to tomorrow, too. Uh, just to underline the fact that there has been a turnaround, a lasting turnaround in the shares. Uh, moving on along to an equally fraught situation. It looks like uh, if you're in the CBD space, you've got to be prepared for uh, volatility, uh, forward slash pain. Uh, here we've got uh, MGC Pharma. And here we've just seen the shares uh, just nudging their downtrend line from the highs. The high were around, was around, what was that, nine pence? Uh, last month and uh, the re resistance line there right currently at 3.8 so that's uh, uh, an end of day close above that level really what we're looking to get the shares back on the road in terms of uh, the upside uh, above four pence looking for I suppose seven or eight pence as a best case scenario over the next four to six weeks if we uh, break that four pence and that uh, trend line relatively quickly Obviously, the stop loss um, back um, below 2.8 pence, which was uh, resistance on the way up. Moving along to a stock which uh, has been uh, bumping along the bottom, we think, uh, over the last uh, few weeks. Uh, Microsaic uh, looks as though it's just ready now, finally, to break out of the falling wedge it's been in uh, since uh, the uh, middle part of January. Uh, that line there around 0.23 pence, so looking for an end of day close above that. If you're cautious, maybe you'd leave it to uh, a clearance of the 50 day moving average at 0.25 pence. And then above that, obviously, then we'll be looking for 0 0.3, 0 0.35 as an initial target, hopefully by the end of the month. And uh, uh, clearly, nobody wants to see an end of day close back below uh, the last support at 0.19 at the end of last month. Uh, interesting development at a mode which has been a bit sluggish let's say as compared to the uh, price of bitcoin obviously there was a placing involved as well so that uh, slowed things down but um, the reason for inclusion today is that it looks as though the shares are actually hit the bottom of the rising trend channel that, that's been in place uh, since the stock came to market or at least since december in this case so uh, today's low at uh, 51 pence if that is the floor of the channel uh, then uh, clearly the Y channel there would point back towards 80 pence plus, etc., etc. 
A precautious of the shares, which uh, some might be, you'd either use an end-of-day close above the rising 50-day moving average at 54 pence, or perhaps uh, maybe wait on a break of Friday's peak at 58 pence as a momentum trigger. That's also the 30-day uh, moving average area as well. But uh, uh, a decent end-of-day close above the 50-day line, probably enough for most people, along with the uh, bounce off the price channel floor. On to N4 Farm, which I know has a lot of... Uh, fans and it's been a bit of a, a rocky ride a bit sort of a heart trace monitor type price action with a spike and then uh, uh, coming back almost immediately we've had that uh, several times so uh, this is not uh, for the faint-hearted but uh, plus points here are that uh, we had the gap through the 50-day moving average in december that gap has never been filled even though there have been several support points which is a normally a very bullish sign sign of a potential multi-bagger once the uh, dust has settled a uh, decent end of day close today above the 50 day average at 8.83 pence should be enough to at least give us one of those uh, periodic spikes uh, in this case back to 14 pence and uh, the good thing i suppose is the uh, stop loss at the 200 day moving average looking relatively strong i mean the shares have found support there on several occasions and bounced back uh, very well from that particular zone on to open orphan which uh, had some news out today which was uh, i think another more contract news uh, the situation here is that we're still in uh, we're sort of in a holding pattern. I've got the shares above uh, trading at and around uh, and above the uh, old 28.9 pence high from January. In fact, we're right on that now, so that's good. Old resistance becoming new support, so that's a plus point. And the view here is that at least while we're above 27 pence and above that broken October resistance line, we should be heading higher. I've been looking for a rather uh, rather high target. Maybe it's a bit too high, but. Uh, 60 70 pence does seem to be the place for the shares to go to if the uh, price channel that i've drawn is correct which uh, uh, in it's rather difficult to get it wrong if you see what i mean you've got that uh, peak there from august and uh, the peak there from october so it looks as they've got a wide rising trend channel there uh, momentum trigger obviously a, a clearance of 33 pence and last and last month's resistance but uh, uh, this looks as though it is shaping up quite nicely at the moment uh, moving along to uh, Pirez, which maybe is more straightforward and stock, which is now more in a hurry than open orphan. Here we can see that uh, the shares have uh, managed to uh, be loyal to a rising trend channel, uh, a wide one in the same way that open orphan has uh, from August and uh, the top of the channel now heading up towards 30 pence. Uh, we, the, uh, the reason for inclusion today, apart from the rise and the news as well, uh, with the, the investment uh, in Pluto, which it has in common with uh, Argo blockchain, is that we've had a gap uh, to the upside and uh, gaps through resistance tend to be uh, very strong uh, momentum triggers. So uh, the gap through 15 pence and also through that late February peak at 15.9 pence. Decent end of day close above 15.9 pence uh, either today or during the week should be enough to give us the 30 pence target as soon as the end of next month. Maybe if you're cautious, just wait for a a crossing of the a buy cross of the uh, MACD indicator, but uh, looks like with the gap, the shares are on their way. Just a couple of stocks to go now. Uh, first is uh, uh, Tiraparty Graphite here, uh, tantalizingly close to a decent breakout here. Uh, we had the peak uh, earlier in the month at 97.6 pence, so looking for an end of day close uh, through that. Uh, already, I suppose, we've broken that uh, line of resistance from uh, January at uh, 95 pence so as i said tantalizing, tantalizingly close to a breakout and a potential move up towards that uh, december resistance line projection currently pros promising one pound 40 plus over the next couple of months or so stop loss at this stage back below the 20-day moving average at 87 but uh, really while we're above uh, the uptrend line from december around uh, that level we should be pretty safe from any delays in the upside argument finally a stock which i looked at about a week ago and uh, seems to be uh, back in business for the bulls the reason uh, for including it today is that uh, presumably after the peak at three pence and then the uh, recent decline to one and a half pence uh, all the weak hands are out and uh, we're ready to progress looking back at that uh, old peak at 1.73 pence from september while there's no end of day close back below that now we are looking towards a line of resistance from july as high as three and a half pence as soon as the end of next month that's it for me today more updates tomorrow